Hello y'all, welcome to episode 91 of Success Stories 100. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my videos. And today, it's about Vodafone. In the year 1982, UK's largest maker of military radio technology, Rakel Electronics, formed a joint venture with Millicom, a telecommunications and media company, and named it Rakel, which later became Vodafone. Vodafone was launched in the year 1985 under the name Rakel Vodafone. Over the next few years, the ownership structure changed a few times as the company grew. And finally, in 1991, the company became an independent company. Through the 90s, they acquired a few companies and expanded their service in the United Kingdom. In 1999, they merged with AirTouch Communications and became the world's largest mobile telephony company. It entered India in the year 2007, when the world had an increasing need for communication and social networking due to its high technical competence and innovation, Vodafone got its place. It strives to empower the customer by offering value. Vodafone became the first company to make an international roaming call and it was also the first company to offer internet service on the move with Vodafone Live. Also other innovations like Vodafone money transfer service was also successful. Vodafone was also criticized for poor customer service, communication blackout, breaches on customer protection rules, etc. But they faced everything and stood strong. In India, when Reliance entered the telecom industry, all the other competitors faced a huge loss and shut down their business. The companies that stood strong were Vodafone, Idea and Airtel. We already talked about the very inspiring story of Airtel and its founder Mr. Sunil Mittal. If you haven't watched the video, I've given the video link in description. Make sure you watch it. And now due to its substantial loss, Vodafone and Idea partnered and became V. Today, Vodafone has more than 400 million subscribers all over the world. It's the third largest telecom company by the number of subscribers and by total revenue. From a small telecom company in Newbury to one of the world's top companies by facing so much struggles and hardships. Hello you all, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. See you guys tomorrow with another success story.